Hi, my name is Bill Loden, and if you've been following these videos, you know that I've spent a lot of time talking about why you should invest in Windows Azure. Now, I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about how you can get started, and how you can do it without spending a dime. And I'd like to talk to you about a bridge I have for sale. January 2010 marks the commercial launch of Windows Azure. To celebrate, Microsoft is not charging for any usage during the entire month of January. But what happens in February? Groundhog's Day, Valentine's Day, President's Day, my birthday. Well, you can still try out Windows Azure for free, thanks to several offers from Microsoft. To begin with, there's the Windows Azure Platform Introductory Special. It's available to everyone, and it allows you to try out the Windows Azure Platform at no charge. Whoa, 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 whoa. You are not much of a salesman, are you? No, not really. Let me show you how it's done. What do you need to say? It's right there on the teleprompter. All right, watch and learn. You'll get 25 hours of Windows Azure compute time, 500 megabytes of Windows Azure storage, 10,000 storage transaction, plus limited access to SQL Azure and the Windows Azure platform app fabric. You can take advantage of this offer through the end of July 2010. Seems a little pushy to me. Fine, do it your way. If you happen to be an MSDN Premium subscriber or BizSpark participant, Windows Azure is one of your included benefits. For a period of eight months, you get 750 compute hours, 10 gigabytes of storage, 1 million transactions, plus additional app fabric and SQL Azure benefits. After eight months, you'll continue to get access to the Windows Azure platform on an ongoing basis, as long as your MSDN subscription remains active. Resource levels will vary based on your MSDN subscription level, and you can find out more information at msdn.microsoft.com. msdn.microsoft.com. I'm telling you, you need to jazz this thing up. When you sign up for any free offer, you'll be asked to provide Microsoft with a valid credit or debit card. Also, your shoe size, favorite color, and any allergies you may have. What? If you're not going to let me use my salesman voice, I'm just going to fall back on my standard snarky comments. Now, you may wonder why you need to provide a credit card in order to take advantage of a free offer. Well, this is so Microsoft can validate your billing information and ensure that you won't experience any disruption in service if you decide to continue using Windows Azure after the introductory period has ended. Also, so the Azure team can order pizza for lunch. It's also important in case your usage rates exceed what is included in the offer. What if you've been using the Windows Azure Community Technology Preview, or CTP? Oh good, my doctor warned me that my acronym levels were dangerously low. You can still take advantage of these free offers simply by upgrading your CTP account to one of the available offers. All CTP account holders have received, or will receive, information that details the migration process. Does it involve any of them heading south for the winter? I should remind you that your Windows Azure account is tied to your Windows Live ID email address. So, for instance, let's say you are an existing front runner for Azure CTP account holder. Instructions for upgrading your account will be sent to that Live ID email, and you will be given the ability to access your usage data. The service will continue to be available through January 2010. So, you say 2010, not 2010? Yeah, I think it sounds better. Yeah, I haven't decided yet. I'm still on the fence. Should you decide to purchase a new commercial subscription, but you don't want to upgrade your existing CTP account, you must use a different Windows Live ID than the one associated with the CTP account, or you can remove all applications and data associated with the CTP account prior to sign up. And don't even think about asking for your damage deposit back. And by the way, if you elect not to upgrade a CTP account, then the account will be disabled on February 1st, 2010, and any Windows Azure storage data associated with that account will be made read-only. Which I recently found out is how the library likes their books, read-only. Once you're all signed up, you'll be able to log into the portal at any time and see your usage of Azure resources. Don't forget that you can start and stop Windows Azure compute instances whenever you want. So if you're testing a Windows Azure application, don't forget to stop the application when you're not using it, so it doesn't count against your usage. Also, stop your newspaper delivery before you go out of town for three weeks. Save a tree. Hey, thanks. No problem. So there you have it. Several offers straight from Microsoft that will let you get started on the Windows Azure platform for free. What? Free, not tree. He's new.